And then... Don't be broken down. Yes. It's a very thoughtful place to break down this. Why is that? Well, because, look, there's a little path that you, Hammond and I can go round, so... Off you go. Leave it. Don't touch it. Leave it. Trying to help. I to Don't try and help. Go away. Everybody's getting a bit bad-tempered. Might be because it's so hot. Could be that. He's not very keen on us helping, is he? <laughs> Sorry. That's, I, I didn't see the bumper. Because I had my head right next to the thing. Go on. Go. We will be fine if we spot a Jaguar. Everything will be OK. Right. Go. Oh, now we're in trouble. To my car up. That really got out of hand all of a sudden. One minute, going along, everything's fine. Next minute, one of your mates is throwing rocks at the other one. Problem is, you have people on the extreme left, James May, people on the extreme right, Richard Hammond, and it's always the liberal, sensible people in the middle, like me, who cop for it. Eventually, having fixed the Fiat, I was back on the road again. This car is just amazing. But then... Oh, dear. I think I've just lost the exhaust pipe. Up ahead, thanks mainly to our absolutely beautiful surroundings, the mood was a lot more tranquil. That scenery to our right is absolutely spectacular. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And, of course, we're not in the shade of the jungle anymore, which means I'm being roasted. Have you not got any moisturiser with you? You must have. No, Hammond, I don't have any moisturiser with me. What is this? As it turned out, the broken exhaust was lifting my mood, too. This is tremendous. It's like being on a rally stage. I have to know that Tony and Sherry Blair were, in fact, massive World Rally Championship fans. In fact, I think they took part in a couple on the quiet. They just didn't want people to know about it. They thought it would sort of damage their reputation and their standing. Unlike, say, starting a war. Further ahead, my long lens had grabbed a couple of animals. I don't believe Amazon will be rushing to have that as their screensaver. <laughs> but we had yet to bag a jag. However, as it's a nocturnal animal, we were hoping for more luck as darkness fell. Predictably, though... Are my headlights on? No, they're off completely. I think I've got seawater in them. As we set about sorting the problem, Tony Blomqvist arrived. Oh, hey, I can't listen to it. Sounds quite rorty, doesn't it? That is a throaty sound. James, do not throw rocks at us. Just calm down, say some of your Chinese things. I'm very sorry for driving into your car. I'm very sorry I threw a rock at you. It wasn't at your head. Right, so we're back as a team. Yeah. I said sorry to James. Yeah. So he said sorry to me. We're all all okay. said sorry. Everybody's happy. Once we'd strapped some torches to the front of the pickup trump, we resumed our Jaguar hunt. <laughs> 